I'm Kasia Madeira in London. That was Laura Bicker in Washington. Well, right now there is another high-profile guest in the States who is already in Washington. It is, of course, Pope Francis, who has conducted a mass. Now, during this mass, he canonized the 18th century missionary Juniper Serra, who brought Catholicism to what is now California. And this is a move that has actually been cheered by Hispanic Catholics, but it has been criticized by some Native Americans. Well, on the first day of his first ever visit to the United States, the Pope has been greeted quite simply like a rock star wherever he's gone. It has been a day full of ceremony, but the Pope has also delivered a strong message on climate change and he also spoke on the very controversial issue of child sex abuse. Well, our North America editor, John Sopel, has been following it all. Well, also making the news today, the scandal over Volkswagen fixing its vehicle pollution tests. Now, the sad news that the legendary American baseball player Yogi Berra has died at the age of 90. Considered one of the best catchers in baseball history, Berra was also known for his humorous quotes, which included, it ain't over till it's over, and half the lies they tell about me aren't true. He was widely thought to have inspired the cartoon character Yogi Bear. Finally, there were some rather bizarre goings on at a news conference to promote a forthcoming heavyweight boxing title fight. The first challenger, the UK's Tyson Fury, ran around the room dressed as Batman and then he tackled this particular intruder who appeared to be part of the same stunt. Fury's opponent, the Ukrainian world champion Vladimir Klitschko, was, as you can see by his face, uh, visibly unimpressed and that's a bit of an understatement. He suggested that the British boxer should give up boxing for the circus. And Kasha, I can tell you the haze has been very bad over here in Singapore. That it has reached unhealthy levels that I even have to wear this face mask to work and even when I take the bus home. Uh, and uh, you know what, uh, just coming over here, just taking a look at the skyline, the streets, the buildings are blanketed with thick smoke. Really very unhealthy right now, the air in Singapore. Rico, yes, it must be really uncomfortable. Thank you very much for talking us through that. Now, European leaders have spent most of the evening trying to agree a new approach to the migration crisis. And I can tell you that they are very much divided over these plans to relocate 120 thousand migrants across the EU using that quota system, which I said that is very controversial. Slovakia says that it is launching a legal challenge against this plan. From Brussels, our Europe editor Katja Adler has the latest. Also on the programme, those are our headlines. Now let's take a look at some of the front pages from around the world and starting off with the Asian edition of the Wall Street Journal, which has a front page story on Chinese hacking. It details a report by US security researchers who've tracked down a recent attempt to penetrate Thai computers to a member of a Chinese military reconnaissance unit. Moving on to the South China Morning Post, which has a story on a crackdown against the triads. Codenamed Thunderbolt 15, police raided vice dens in gambling venues and even residential flats. 50,000 arrests were made, including some high-ranking triad members. And finally, let's have a look at the Straits Times because it has just a simply stunning photograph on its front page. Let's have a look there. Isn't that remarkable? These are Muslim pilgrims at Mount Mercy where millions gathered during the annual Hajj pilgrimage on Wednesday. A remarkable picture. So those are the front pages. Rico, what's getting people talking? Ever fancied walking in the rain without getting wet? Well, this new art installation in Shanghai is for you. Developed by artist Yu Deyu, it's meant to highlight water as a dwindling natural resource. Let's have a look. I'm Kasia Madeira with BBC World News. Chinese President Xi Jinping is using his visit to the United States to try to reassure business leaders there. And this story is trending on BBC.com. That's all from me. Do stay with us here on BBC World News. <laughs>